All right, our Tesla reactor has had a bit of a morph. It's now the Tesla Berdini reactor. Um, we're now running on batteries, switching with a transistor, and um, basically set up in the Berdini pulse motor style. Whereas we're collecting the inductive kickback, sending it back to this battery here. That's a 7 amp hour one, this one is a 12 amp hour, 12 volt. Now, what I wanted to show you first is a very good example of battery voltages climbing even though we are drawing power from it. 31 milliamps at the moment. Now this battery here started at 12.31 volts and it is now 12.9 volts. So the voltage is going up, even though we're drawing power from it, and we're not returning any back into it. So um, that's a very good example how batteries can play tricks on you. Well, one would think it's playing tricks anyway, because there's no way that the power can get back into that battery from the circuit. Okay, so this one here, our battery which are charging, start 11.4 volts. It's now up to 13.2, of course that will drop when we switch the system off. Um, basically the same, I've linked every third junction on the transformers, we've kept our caps, the light bulbs are removed. Um, because we're now running at a lower power, we only get one that flashes. All three must be in before that one flashes. I'll take one of the ones that's not flashing out, it stops. So, it does still flash. Um, now, if I disconnect the cap, you can see what is happening on the scope. I'll hook the cap back up and you can see the difference it makes. Uh, same with all caps, if I disconnect all three caps, we draw a lot more power and the light actually stops flashing altogether. Why only one flashes I don't know, but all three have to be in and only one flashes. Anyway, set up in our um, pulse charger, inductive kickback desulfator, Tesla Bedini Hybrid. Um, we actually have a fairly decent wave, a nice H wave there, and the yellow trace is across collector emitter, and the blue trace is across our 10 ohm resistor. So um, the scope is actually running ground independent from our mains, um, that's so it doesn't interfere with my signal generator which is driving the transistor but it doesn't really matter anyway because all grounds are common on the emitter and of course we're now using batteries instead of our um, big transformer we had hooked up so the idea now is to uh, fool around with the circuit a bit more the energy that was driving those lights we send through a rectifier and we're going to send that back to the run battery and uh, see what happens. I may in fact put a cap on the input and send it back to a cap and have a diode from the battery to the cap and uh, see how much it actually reduces the draw from the battery. But uh, that's where the mess is at at the moment. It's going to get a whole lot messier and a whole lot more wires but um, nonetheless it is doing what it should be doing. Seems to be charging that battery quite nicely at the moment and our current draw is 30 milliamps at 12.89, 12.9 and it's been flicking backwards and forwards for the last hour on that voltage. So um, yeah once again a very good example how our battery voltage on the run side went from 12.31 up to 12.89, 12.9 when we're actually drawing power from it and returning nothing to it. So um, there you go.
that's the mess we have at the moment and um, seems to be working quite fine so next like I said heap of uh, bridge rectifiers on the outputs of our secondaries and then back into our run battery see how we go with that cheers guys